None other than no sooks, no lefties, Michael Kroger, Garth Hamilton and the wonderful Pauline Hanson. All right, let's get into this here. So, Pauline, they've already fired up the BS machine in Canberra. If you want to ask questions about where 700,000 people are going to leave, uh, are going to live while we have rental queues in the bush, in the cities, in every state in the country, oh, of course, it's code for racism. Oh. Paul, I keep saying criticism is, criticism is not racism. And they don't want to debate the issue, so therefore they throw the word around racist. I have been talking about immigration since I was first elected to Parliament, even at that time, and I had the argument with the coalition as well. Even the previous coalition about the numbers they were bringing in, they were not telling us the real numbers. So this has been building up over a long period of time. It is disgusting. Since Labor has been in, they've been bringing in 7,000 a week since wow. Labor was elected to Parliament last year. Now, that's going to go over the next, this year and the following year, to 715,000. Paul, the big problem is, yes, it is housing, not only the migrants coming in, but we have allowed foreign ownership of our established and new housing here. They're not allowed to buy established housing, but they have been buying it, and no government has really gone out to check on this and to put a stop to it. Until we stop foreign ownership of our housing, that would actually turn it around. And those people that own the houses here, who have locked them up, go back to their own countries, you know what I say? If you... I'd give them 12 months to sell it. If not, you take, take it from them. And foreign students should not be able to buy housing here. They're supposed to sell it before they go back to their own country. They don't. They keep it because their parents have bought it in their names when they come out here, and then they hold on to it. Foreign students should have to rent. Why do they buy the housing? It's going to cost them more in stamp duty, especially in Sydney or Melbourne, these mm. towns, than what it is, you know, to, in the first place to rent. So why do they buy it? Because it's an asset they want to hold on to. Solve this problem, you could put a big end to our housing problem. Yeah, I'm with you. Garth, of course, you represent uh, areas in and around, uh, and of course, uh, Toowoomba itself. Now, we know the reality is, is that all of the analysis suggests 90% of the migration ends up at the suburbs of Sydney and Melbourne. There's plenty of jobs going in regional areas, so we don't care where you're from, we don't care what you look like, we don't care what you believe in, just turn up, do the job, become part of the community. But don't you love this here? That the mere discussion of all of this, oh, it's got to be a little bit racist. I mean, this is, this is how lazy, how lazy the, the press protection racket is for Albanese. It is lazy and it's lazy policy that we're discussing here. You know, we had a cap of 160,000 people coming in. That's been completely thrown out the door. Yes, housing is a huge issue, huge issue out here, particularly in the regions. But I've got to tell you, the other part of this story, we had $120 billion of infrastructure uh, to support the growth of Australia, and that included in regions like mine, the Great Inland Rail Project, and I'm a big supporter of that. I want to see that come to Toowoomba. This is about bringing jobs, and I don't care where the people come from who fill those jobs. You've got the skills, you've got the qualifications and you've got the ambition and drive to become an Australian and, and get to work here. There is so much opportunity out there. Um, but goodness me, we are throwing fuel on this housing crisis fire by just opening the doors here. Uh, and once again, look, if, if we don't solve housing, and I'm talking about housing supply, not this Ponzi scheme the government's come up with, uh, their housing, $10 billion housing fund, I mean, that's absolutely a ridiculous scheme. They're going to borrow money, invest it, and hope that they, between the difference, they can build a million homes. It's absolutely ludicrous, and no-one in the press has called them out on that.